Everybody, it's Chris from Prepare Mind 101. I got something different to look at today. No, I'm not going to get to the flashlights yet. I know you guys are all excited about it. It's like, yay! It's been non stop complaining. It's like, when are we going to get another flashlight video? So that's what I have to listen to every day. But this is actually from a flashlight company, but this would fall under the tier of survival gear, actually. And this is a new. Uh, gadget from Nightcore that's like a signal beacon, whistle, screamer thing. Flat, I call it the flashy, squeaky thing. So this is the Nightcore NWE30, which makes sounds and flashy lights and goes for like three days. And we're going to talk about this, take a look at it, but this is going to be mainly for those of you that actually go out in the woods and for a distance and hiking, whatever. Uh, it's just a little backup redundancy and there's a, I think it's, it's a pretty good idea and I'll tell you why. So if you want to know more, don't go away. Okay, before we talk about the Nightcore screechy flashy thing, it's a little sneak peek. They're I got a bunch of videos ahead of this one, but because this is a Nightcore video, let me just say this new Nightcore P20i. Uh, I'm in love. This this has literally got everything right. Even the freaking strobe actually hurts your freaking eyes. It's not too fast. This thing is sweet. But you're gonna have to wait. We're talking about the Nightcore screechy flashy thing now. Otherwise known as the more boring name NWE30. Just goes to show that more companies should use me for their marketing advice. So this is very compact and it has a hundred and twenty decibel screeching alarm. And I think it's about every 10 seconds or so, this is going to go off. Now, if it is completely dark, which we'll see when we uh, show the outside segment, uh, this will flash as well. There's some sort of sensor in here somewhere, so if there's light, it does not flash, which is obviously going to put more drain on the battery. But if it is dark, this will flash uh uh, pulses of light intermittently so with a full battery and we've got a with a full battery this thing goes for continuously for about 72 hours it does come with a CR123 it's not a rechargeable so we're talking primary batteries here but in this instance that's probably the, that that yeah. <laughs> it's like a cricket from hell so yeah, primary battery is going to be the better choice for something like this. So with it tightened down, it is off. And you just twist it to turn it on. Omnidirectional, what do they call it? Sound diffraction system. This goes to show that words can make anything sound cooler. Just means the sound bounces up here and goes out. <laughs> Um, so the flash, which obviously it's not going to kick like, you know, a 2000 lumen uh, tactical flashlight to your eyes. It's, I mean, it's diffused, but it does have a 2000 lumen uh, brightness on that. Let's see what else do we have here? It's not something we have to talk a lot about. Uh, I'll tell you what, this whole, you know, reading glasses thing really upsets me. In my brain, I'm still 27. All right, so output is 120 decibels. Utilizes four luminous SST 20 watt LEDs for the 360 degree flash powered by 123A, max run time 72 hours, ultra compact, lightweight, durable design, uh, rating in accordance with IP68, two meters submersible impact resistant to one meter so I'm guessing if you are stuck underwater two meters it 
prob no one's probably going to hear you. But I get what they're saying. You know, you, you fall into the water, you sink down two meters, you swim up, now you're lost, your beacon's still going to work. But yeah, it's not something, it's not a fun toy that you're going to play with all the time, like a Microtech or a new flashlight. But it is something, probably, you know, if you go out in the woods far enough, it's something that's probably worth adding. Now, before Survival Sam jumps in here with his sage wisdom, yes, a good old freaking $1 whistle will do the trick. But this is what this will do that the $1 whistle will not and that will sit there and whistle every 10 seconds for three days even if you happen to pass out from blood loss or whatever that way at least a day and a half later the searchers can find your body if it's not being eaten by coyotes but yeah if you get incapacitated I mean have you ever tried blowing a whistle continuously for three days let me tell you, it's no fun. I'm guessing. I never actually tried to blow a whistle for three days. But yeah, of course. Of course have a, a simple redundancy that's not going to break. Like a regular whistle. But this does serve a purpose. So I think it is actually a good idea. And so far it has worked okay. I've turned it on and off about freaking a hundred times. Use it to make the kids jump. But that's about all we can say about this. I mean, it's pretty much what you see is what you get. So let's quickly take a look at our outdoor test. Now, I didn't, um, I haven't had the opportunity to go like deep in the woods where there's nobody that uh, I could just go as far as I can. Uh, where we did go, there's a, a, a walking trail. It's plenty dark, but I'm out there with my daughter testing this, testing other uh, these tactical flashlights, and, you know, spooked a couple people. Thought the popo was out there, as the guy with the bottle of Patron told me. Thought it was the police. Nope, it's just some stupid YouTuber with a flashing light. All right, so let's see what this thing looked like outside. All right, so let's see what this uh, little beacon is like. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of hard to do. There's so many people out here. Ready for this? Here, hold this. Ready? Yeah. There, stay there. Okay. That's still pretty loud where you were standing. Me? Yeah. Yeah. I want to leave you back here. It's all scary and stuff. My <laughs> earrings, like, they keep clinging, and I think keep thinking it's like that dog chain, like. So, I'm going to test this more once we get out in the woods, but I want to give it a little, a little go around. But it's still kind of warm, and there's still a lot of people out around here. So, can't draw too much attention. But yeah, it's pretty uh, interesting little 
gadget, this this Nightcore beacon. Now, if it's in the daylight, the, the light doesn't come on. Try and muffle that a little bit. And just twist it to turn it off. So there you go, folks. That is the Nightcore flashy, screechy thing. Uh, available now, actually. I want to say I saw this on, might have been Amazon. One of those places. It was around 29, 30 bucks, roundabouts. Uh, nice piece of kit if you go out and hike and go to weird places. So, yeah, if it's something that you're into or need, definitely check it out. Uh, I've been playing with it for some time now. It hasn't broke yet. So, fingers crossed. All right, Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.